Hi, I'm Madeline from Sheen Slings and this is my video of fit tips for fitting a newborn baby into a larger buckle carrier. Um, for this video I'm using the Ergo Omni 360 um, which um, will work from newborn but sometimes often parents struggle to fit a very small baby in it so I'm going to show you how to do that. So first of all I'm going to start by setting this to the smallest setting so uh, this one this particular carrier has the three settings and um, on the smallest ready for my newborn and then i'm going to put it on my waistband and get it fastened and make sure it's secure comfortable for me and then i'm going to get my newborn so i'm going to cut on my newborn now Ordinarily, with an older baby, how we would put them in is we'd start by putting them on the top of the waistband and bringing the back panel over them. However, with a newborn, because this panel is very long, um, we often find that now what's happening if I fasten my carrier like this is that I can't see my baby and it doesn't feel right. And your instinct here is exactly right. It doesn't feel right because it isn't. Um, if I did my carrier up here, first of all, my baby would have pressure on the back of their head, which won't feel very comfortable for them. Um, they may have straps over their face, which will make it hard for me to monitor them and read their cues, and um, may also impinge upon the airway if there isn't clear airflow. So really what I want is for the carrier to come no higher than the nape of the neck. But how am I gonna do it when the panel is so long? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the carrier back down. Um, and you'll see that there is sort of a buckety part in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and use more of this panel up underneath baby. And I'm going to do that by putting them lower into that buckety part and then bringing the panel back up around them. And you'll see now the panel is much shorter. It's coming only to the top of my baby's ear because now there is a, a couple of inches worth of fabric running under their bottom instead. And you can set this exactly for the height of your baby by putting them in deeper still if they need if they need e if they're even smaller or t just titrating it's half centimeter by half centimeter as they grow and you should be able to get a perfect fit so once i'm happy with the height i'm going to fasten up my straps i'm doing this crosswise but um, this carry can also be worn in ruck strap configuration and I'm going to get this done out and I'm just going to watch that my baby's hands are up by their face and not trapped in any way. And same on the other side. Again, untrapping my baby's hands and getting this carrier done. So there we have it. You can see correctly adjusted for my baby's hips, correctly adjusted for their height. So it's coming no higher than the base of the ear. Got good airflow, good visibility of baby's face. Um, in this particular carrier, you can see I have folded the head support inwards, and that just helps snug the top part of the carrier up for a little baby. Again, a nice adjustment can you make. So there you have it, newborn fit tips with an ergo on.